Okay, here's how to pick a laptop for engineering college because so many people have been asking me. Step one, don't buy a Mac. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna recommend very specific brands or kinds of laptops because you can figure that out on your own. What I am gonna tell you is what stats to look for when you're picking your laptop for college. Okay, so first thing you wanna look at is your processor chip. Minimum for SolidWorks is an i5. Also, this is mainly targeted at mechanical engineers who use SolidWorks, but the same principles apply for whatever engineering major you're going into. Minimum for SolidWorks is an i5 chip, but you probably wanna go i7 or better. And if it's a different chip than Intel, just Google if it's as good as an i7. Second thing you want to really look for is RAM. You probably want to look to get 16 gigabytes, which is pretty standard, and anything above is a plus. Also, small thing to confirm, but just make sure it's SSD because booting up SolidWorks will be 10 times faster. Now, these are just quality of life things, but I think they're really important for college. The first one's battery life. In college, you're not going to be next to an outlet all the time, so having a good battery life lets you work for longer. Second up is weight. You guys are in college, you're going to be running around campus all day, every day, so weight matters more than you think. I I went to UCLA and looking back, I wish I had a laptop that was half as heavy as the one that I had. And the last one I'll mention is screen size. Personally, I like anything 15 inches and larger. Wait, pause. 13 inch screens are really small and I definitely notice it, but 15 and up is pretty fine. But then again, it's just personal preference though. Okay, now that we're done, you can stop DMing me very specific laptops and asking me if it's okay, because you can figure that out on your own. Also, I'm gonna have a video talking about common laptops I've seen engineering students have. So definitely go check that out.